Your name is Sunny? Yes, right. Okay, well, how are you today, Sunny? Uh, I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Well, this is my second class since I, I start working every time at 5 a.m. in the uh -huh. 15th, so yeah, I still feel a little sleepy, I guess. <laughs> like my body is not yet fully awake. <laughs> oh, this is too bad. Yeah. Uh, what time is it there? Oh, it's 5.20, 5.22 or 21. Oh, it's yeah. too early in the morning. Yeah, that's right. And I usually wake up at 4 or 4.30 a.m. So oh, really? Yeah, I need to. Are you in <laughs> right, your home? I need to wake myself up. Yeah. Or the, the yes, office? That's right. I'm at home. Mm -hmm. Why did you wake up too early? Your class starts <laughs> just 5 o'clock, but you wake woke up at 4, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Mm -hmm, yeah, oh, because I want to wake myself up uh, so that in my in my class I won't feel very sleepy, right? Mm, and I usually drink milk or mm, I eat cereal every um, morning <laughs> to wake. Yeah, good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I am not an early bird. I am a night owl. Oh, so I had to practice rather than <laughs> I need to train my body. <laughs> Why did you yeah, attend so night night time teacher as a night time teacher? Mm -hmm. Oh, because I have a daughter, uh, so she is one year to. old, and yeah. mm -hmm. and my husband works at night in Mint. He is also a teacher here, so I need to work oh, in the morning, I and see. he works in the evening. I see. You have to do yeah. child wearing with your daughter, daughter, for your daughter. Right. Yeah, I mm -hmm. see. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, do you know Teacher Bentley? Ah, I heard that name, but uh, I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, I understand. Well, is he yeah, your yeah husband? husband. He, yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. Right, and he teaches in the evenings, 3 p.m. till 12 midnight mm -hmm. in the Philippines. So yeah, maybe you can. Have a class with him soon too, if you okay. want to talk in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will try. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, thank you for having a little free talking with me. Well, mm -hmm. have you eaten your breakfast? Uh, actually, I live in America, so it's in the evening. It's not mm. in the morning. Oh, it's, that's yeah, amazing. Five, Where in the U.S.? Uh, the capital city of the U.S. I live in the uh, mm -hmm. Washington DC. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned it's 5 p.m. there? Yes, 5 to uh, tw 12, uh, 20 p.m. Mm. Okay, 12 hours delayed. Yeah, That's right, right. Wednesday, right? Yes. Mm -hmm, I got it. That's cool. Are you working there? Uh, actually, my husband is working here and I took a leave from work in Korea. So officially, I cannot mm. work here because I have a job in Korea and I have to mm -hmm. yeah, return to that work. So I cannot have a job. Mm. But I work uh, as a receptionist of the uh, physical therapy clinic. Mm -hmm. I see, but why don't you work like a part-time job there for you not to feel bored? <laughs> <laughs> uh, as I mentioned, I, 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 offici officially I cannot have a job, so mm -hmm. uh, I just have a part-time mm -hmm. job. And these days, actually, I don't, I don't work because of the coronavirus pandemic. Mm -hmm. So my clinic oh, yeah. is not yeah allowed to yeah open except for an emergency mm -hmm. patient. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. these days I don't go to work, just stay home. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been staying in the U.S.? 
Ah, uh, it's been a year. I moved here mm -hmm. in June last year. So, yeah, it's almost mm -hmm. a year. It's been almost a year. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned you still need to return to Korea, especially yeah. to your job. So how long do you need to stay there? Uh, we are planning to go back to Korea after four years. So... <laughs> Four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. That's a long time. Four years. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I have to study okay. English more. <laughs> right. More and more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. So, you, of course, you need to blend in with the people. Because yeah. they're American, so you have to speak in English too, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. I got it. So thank you for sharing that to me again, Sunny. Mm -hmm. So for our class today, have you chosen an article you want to talk about? Yes, I chose an article from the beginner part. The title is Hobbies Have mm -hmm. uh, Benefits, the first one. Okay, yeah, okay. So do you have your article with you or do you want me to upload the article? Uh, I can see the article on my computer so if you it, if you is yeah mm -hmm. it's difficult you can uh, yeah you don't need to yeah, upload the article on our board oh <clears throat> yeah i don't know it takes like a lot of time <laughs> to upload that it's loading okay. up until now since <laughs> we have started talking okay okay so <clears throat> do you want to read the article for pronunciation check or let's just go directly to questions? Uh, yeah, first I, yeah, I want to read the article. Mm -hmm. According to the magazine Psychology Today, a hobby is important for people for many reasons. Firstly, a hobby structures your time because you have to make time for the hobby. Secondly, the hobby reju rejuvenates you when you lose yourself in focusing on the activity. Thirdly, it relieves stress from your daily life. Fourthly, you are more social as you meet people who do the same hobby, and you also become more interesting if you do more activities. The sixth reason is the hobby's effect effects on the brain. Your brain gets effects. Uh, efficient as you do your hobby or learn new skills. The new skill turns on the brain's neurons to make more connections and thus you learn quicker and slow down aging. You also increase the material in the brain that keeps in working well. Okay, great. So actually, I didn't hear any mispronunciation with your, I mean, while you're reading the article, mm -hmm. so I think that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no problem with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So so before we talk about this, do you understand all of the words or expressions? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm, great. So let me ask you, do you agree with the article with all the benefits that we get from hobbies? Uh, <clears throat> yes, <laughs> I agree with the, yeah, we, we did mm -hmm. uh, most of the part, and mm -hmm. some hobbies, yes, yes, I agree with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good to hear that. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell me what are your hobbies? Uh, these days, as I mentioned, I am studying English very hard. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking part in mm -hmm. an English in English study groups in Mint oh, really? <laughs> with Mint students. Mm -hmm. So I am yeah mm -hmm. uh, participating seven <laughs> groups <laughs> the, wow. every day. So mm -hmm. I yeah do that to become fluent in English. Mm -hmm. And do you oh know God, that's a lot. Seven <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> and I uh, I think I'm more I am uh, I am good at compa competitive mood than when I'm on my own. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> yeah, it's very helpful for me. 
Ah, uh, you feel challenged. Yeah, right. right. Mm, okay, that's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that too. Because of course, when you hear or see other students that are really good in English, mm -hmm. it's like you want to challenge yourself to do the same. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, since you're studying in seven groups, like how many hours a day do you study then? Uh, it takes around three hours a day, every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three hours every day. So for seven groups, it's like 30 minutes or less for one group, right? Yeah, right. Every okay. time, yeah. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> All right. So with your hobby, studying, uh, do you get these benefits? Like, does it relieve your stress or <laughs> <laughs> does it turn your time? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> first of all, uh, in the, according to the article, uh, the uh, mm -hmm. benef uh, third reasons of uh uh, third benefit of hobbies, it says, uh, uh, as a third benefit of hobby, it says, uh, hobbies relieves, ho hobbies relieve stress from my daily life, but sometimes I have to, since I have to study and do homework, so sometimes I... Mm -hmm get some stress <laughs> from my hobby <laughs> and when I mm -hmm. see other people who are very good at English and very uh, mm -hmm. uh, are very fluent um, sometimes mm -hmm. I feel very um, what can I say um, despair or <laughs> I have no mm -hmm. hope <laughs> homeless <laughs> So, oh yeah. Yeah, sometimes I get some um, mm -hmm. yeah, stress on them. <laughs> exactly. Of course you need to do your assignments, you need to use your brain in this hobby, so it's quite tiring if it's for too long, right? Yes, but on the contrary, I can yeah, get mm -hmm. some insight or, or inspiration of others. Because they have very yeah. good yeah methods of studying English, or they mm -hmm. uh, speak, they can speak various expressions that I didn't know. So sometimes I can get inspiration mm -hmm. from them. So it's good, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Meeting new people every day, or you have the same struggle as students. So they can also share what are their problems in studying or what are their methods, effective methods to study English, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Okay. I am just curious, though, did you have any hobbies when you were a child that you still do until now that you're an adult? Uh, actually, I like to read the books. <laughs> so... Uh, mm -hmm. since I was a student, I, yeah, keep, uh, I have been keeping, yeah, reading books, and these days I have a lot of time mm -hmm. since I don't work, so these days I, mm -hmm. uh, read a book, uh, read one book every week, mm -hmm. so... Uh, you know, yeah, books contain a lot of information to expand my knowledge mm -hmm. and it helps mm -hmm. me to know more and have a wider perspective of the world. So we mm -hmm. cannot yeah, experience all of the uh, things in the world, but we can mm -hmm. uh, ex uh, experience those books. Uh, mm -hmm. And the knowledge we gain from books helps me uh, make better choices in major life decisions. So I like to read mm -hmm. books. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. Well, yeah, reading books really is important to widen our knowledge when it comes to 
yeah, the world, or it depends on the topic that you're reading, and it helps a lot in mm -hmm. also relaxing your mind, right? Right. Okay, that's great. So thank you so much, Sunny, for uh, sharing that to me and for having a class. But we don't have much time, actually, since 30 minutes is not enough, and it's only for a 15-minute class. Mm -hmm. But for now, I'll end our class here. Please check your feedback box for some corrections. But actually, it was too hard for me to get corrections since most of your sentences are correct. Really? <laughs> so good with speaking. Yeah. <laughs> so... The only thing I noticed is your preposition. Like, for example, I am participating seven groups, so mm -hmm. there should be in, in seven groups. Okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, and also you said we can experience those books, but it should be from those books. So only the preposition part, okay? Uh, from those books, okay. Yes, all right. So thank you, Sunny, for your time. I hope you'll have a great day, and I'll hope to see you again soon. Thank bye -bye. you. Okay. <laughs>